Good morning cookies! Today I'm going to film a vlog preparing for my mother who is coming to Stockholm tomorrow. I haven't seen her in eight years so needless to say I'm kind of stressed. One of you asked me to show you what I eat in a day so I'm going to show you briefly what I eat in a day. Forgive the state of my desk right now. This is one of the things I need to clean for today. I have then some Swedish blueberries with apples and a banana and some oats. So pretty basic breakfast and then I have a juice. This is carrot, apple, what's it called again? A ginger and some chili. Actually it's something that I bought pre-made. It's not that nice but I add some extra ginger and I'm going to be watching anime. And yes this whole desk situation I have to clean before my mom arrives. And there you have like a down here. Now I actually understand why it doesn't taste as good as I expected because I discovered a juice recently that I really like and it's supposed to be apple, carrots and ginger but this one is apelsine which is oranges so it's not apple and morot morot is carrots so it's actually the wrong combo so no wonder it doesn't taste as good it's my own freaking fault oh I just finished the breakfast and I have so much stuff to do, cookies before my mom arrives, including washing my hair. For those of you who have curly hair, you know that that can take a long time. I mean, I think the shortest I can get my hair to be okay, washed and moisturized and, you know, with a mask and conditioner and then dry it is about one and a half hours, less than two hours. And so that's something that I want to do, but I have to tidy up around here. I have to do the laundry to get some fresh towels and some new bed sheets. Of course, that's the least you can do when you have people sleeping over and we don't have so many bed sheets or towels, so they have to be washed. But I want this video out for you, not this one that I'm filming, but uh, the Coromon review because it was released a week ago or something like that and I want it out for those of you who are interested and the thing is that it was mostly finished yesterday but I had one spelling error in the video and my videos take between 3 hours to sometimes 18 hours to export yes you don't know that but when you have videos in 4k it takes that much time to export and so I had to re-export in the night and now I'm doing the thumbnail as in I'm going to start doing the thumbnail which is something I don't really like doing. If any of you knows how to do good thumbnails let me know. So here I am trying to do the thumbnail. Ah, it's difficult with one hand because the other hand is holding the camera and I'm not entirely sure it's going to look like this. It's just that I'm trying to see more or less how I want it to look like. So it should be something along these lines. And now we're pretty much done. I haven't done that much. And as I said, I'm not that great at thumbnails, but it looks okay. I mean, it looks decent. This is one of the items I found on my desk. It's the Kill Brow Dual Tattoo Pen, natural brown that I bought on Yes Style a few months ago. This was a total waste of money because if you have sun, uh, sunscreen, yes, if you have sunscreen and moisturizer underneath this, it does not stick and it just glides and it does not leave any color. So now I'm taking this opportunity to show you. So here is the, oops, the big tip and then you have a small tip here. And yes, I'm just letting them drop and it just does not stick if you have anything on your skin apart from just bare skin. Even if it's just toner, this is totally useless.
Oh, this is bright. I cleaned the filter here and then the filter here and the filters up there. I have to say that my packing skills are also on point today. Usually I have to go twice to carry this much laundry, but today I thought that, okay, I'm going to do it properly. And everything fits in there. Towels, uh, Saint Clara, how do you say Saint Clara in English? It's um, bed sheets, so bed sheets, towel, gym clothes, colors, whites, everything fit in here so i'm really pleased with myself the person before me never bothered to clean any of the machines and that is so rude and selfish and so i'm cleaning everything for the next person i'm just going to take this and then push this back away so that it looks good for the next person oh i'm exhausted cookies the laundry was so heavy and i really want to go to the gym because i feel like i have some pent up energy it's very weird because it's not energy energy as in i feel exhausted but i feel like working out would actually help me now but i don't have time because i want to do the final touches uh, in the kitchen oh i'm really sweating it's my sunscreen that is melting because it was really hot in the laundry room and so I need to do the final touches to the kitchen, the bathroom is clean, I have to set up the bed and put some new towels, which of course does not take that much energy. And then I wonder if I have time to wash my hair, I have to buy my ticket for the bus for tomorrow. So I still have so much stuff to do. I've been doing things non-stop since yesterday to prepare for my mom coming. So basically just cleaning the whole apartment, tidying up, doing things and also preparing. Uh, we went with Laika to the bus stop where I'm supposed to take the bus to go to the airport because I wanted to be ready. And so now I just feel really exhausted and the video about Coromon is out and one of you already put a com... A com I was about to say commentaire, which is both French and Swedish but a comment, so thank you for that. So I've been doing a lot of things today and it's not done yet, I have probably like five hours more of things to do. So now I'm just going to take a break, 20 minutes, watch an anime, drink a protein shake and then resume because I'm just tired. I just gotta let you know I'm not the one that you should be with. It's a bit more thorough than the usual Sunday cleaning routine because I do do a Sunday cleaning routine and a weekday cleaning routine and this is a bit more thorough but then again you know my mom is coming to town so I have to make sure everything is okay looking. The sun is starting to set and now I'm going to do the next step of everything. I thought that I would do the bed now. Actually I don't want to do the bed because I'm terrible at doing the bed. You know when you pull the duvet up I'm going to show you later but I'm too short so it's really hard to get everything to be done properly and I have to give credit to my ex-mother-in-law not my ex-boyfriend's mom mm. i would not ask her for advice for anything but my ex-husband's mother she taught me and she was so patient and she was so good so it's only thanks to her that i know how to make a bed nicely but now before i can do that i have to undo the laundry and put them folded where they belong i do my laundry and the ex-boyfriend's laundry because he sucks at doing laundry so it's a lot of stuff in there that i have to do now before doing the bed which i don't want to do gym pants 
these are my dancing gym pants also the ones i wear when i'm on my period because then i can have pads and no one can see have a bunch of fresh towels nice it's always nice to have fresh towels and they're still warm oh they're still warm that's the best when it's the winter and then you have some warm towels oh i love that feeling get you a guy that does that for you i think i read somewhere someone's boyfriend or husband usually puts their sweaters or nice indoors clothes into the dryer so that it's always toasty during the winter for their girlfriend or wife to wear and i thought that was so sweet so couples goals i want someone to do that for me someday and i want to do that for someone too someday but i noticed that guys don't usually like their stuff warm i have never been with someone that would have warm clothes and feel like it's cozy i think most people i've been with like this stuff cool so yeah doing that for someone that likes this stuff cool would not be very nice i guess you can do that as petty revenge if you ever petty i'm not really the petty type so i don't do that so there you have that this pillow i bought when i was homeless after my divorce and i was sleeping at friends places on the floor uh, one friend actually lent me his apartment for part of the summer back then which i'm really grateful for record if you ever see this video thank you again and so when i was sleeping on the floor at another person's place who turned out to be a huge douchebag and i had to call the police on him i bought this because sleeping on the floor was killing my back and this is the orthopedic pillow from Ikea and I think at first it worked it was really good and I loved it and nowadays for some weird reason if I use this pillow I get really really bad neck pains in the morning and I'm stuck and I can't move in the morning and it gets swollen here I'm not sure why and I tested it many times and every time I sleep on this nowadays I get I know the word in Swedish but I can't find it now in English but I get neck pains basically and I get stuck and it's a disaster because this is not super expensive but it's not really cheap either if you can test this pillow first before buying it try to do that because yeah this for me worked at first but now it's a waste of money but the ex-boyfriend loves it so i guess it's not really a waste because yeah i gave it to him after we broke up actually because he likes it yeah as you can tell i am really not that great at doing bad pillow stuff i can do it myself i lived by myself uh, most of the time in singapore and also here in sweden as in apart from when I was married of course and so I can do these things myself but <laughs> it's so tiring and it takes me way longer than most people every time the ex-boyfriend or the ex-husband would do this stuff it would take them 15 minutes and for me it's about one hour and I work out cookies I can run on the treadmill for one hour and then do two hours of weightlifting uh, <laughs> but this stuff is killing me i can't do making the bed okay okay i found the end cookies now let's see ow ow i hurt my hand on the you can't see but the wall is slanted here and ah oh, this is so annoying yes my pants are open <laughs> i <laughs> I can't deal with this otherwise. Ah, oh, this is the worst. Ah, oh. oh, I actually cut myself cookies on the wall here when I was pulling. Ah, see, this is why I don't like doing this thing. Ah, I need to. Ah, oh. oh. it's a disaster. Ah, oh, I had to go get some water. See, I drank almost the whole bottle, so what a break, because now we're going to start doing the base one. 
So get ready cookies. Are you ready? I'm not ready. And now some of you would assume that I am doing this to make this more exciting than it is. But no, actually. So these bed sheets are very, very clean because they've been washed twice in two days. But I just want my mom to have clean bed sheets. Ah, ah, ah. This is not going well, cookies. This is not going well. <sighs> okay. I mean, at worst, I can. No. Stay in place, stay in place. Ooh, ooh. And then now I just need to make sure this one stays. No, you have to stay in place. And you. Uh, uh -huh. And then let's see. jump first on a fresh bed that I made just for your grandmother okay you can stay there okay <laughs> hello hello people are you stuck there are you stuck there where are you <laughs> oh my girl So, and that's it for you cookies. This will be probably a few seconds of footage. I can tell you that this took me 45 minutes. Yay! Hey, I'm green. <laughs> ah, you're so cute. Let's go. Screen. Go, go, go. Go, vent up on me. Yes. Go, vent up on me, Vidoran. Okay, Vidoran. <laughs> Good girl. She knows that she's supposed to sit waiting by the door when we're leaving. Okay. Scavi. Vixadero. Can I do this with one hand? Ban, can I do this with one hand? It's the day of my mom's arrival. It's been eight years since I last saw her. It's a weird thing because technically she's my mother, but we really don't know each other and I already got pissed off. Cheers! No, it's just on video. Hi! Woohoo! <laughs> voilà! <laughs> and that really pisses me off actually and so now she's been texting me many times you know it's really offensive i'm really freaking offended